What is up guys? Uh, so today, I don't know if you guys can notice, we did a little bit of an upgrade to the lighting system here at the studio and it looks really good, really good. Today, we are going to be doing one of those very promised uh, tutorials of how to do graphics inside of an iPad Pro. Um, you can do this actually, it doesn't have to be an iPad Pro, an iPad Pro makes things easier, but um, it does not have to be an iPad Pro, it can be any iPad uh, because the app that I will be using today is available in the um, iTunes platform, so you can, I mean, you can literally do them on your phone, really, if you wanted to. So um, that's the quick intro. It's really cold today, so I'm wearing, like, yeah, I'm, I don't even care. It's that cold outside right now, and it's rainy, and it's nasty. It's, 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 it's bad. Um, we're going to dive right in. We're going to switch the shot, and let me know if you like it. So here we are now inside of my iPad. Now, the app that we're gonna be working in today is an app called Over. Now, Over does have a subscription service. If you pay to use it, um, I think it's like something like $12 a month, you get the full functionality of the of the app. And that just means that you get access to more graphics, more access to more um, uh, fonts and stuff like that. But what I've done for the purposes of this tutorial is I've actually logged out of my subscription. That way you guys are, are working exactly the way you would be working if you just downloaded the app. And if you don't want to spend any money, that's perfectly fine because I promise you the app still has a ton of functionality and the things that you can do without having to spend a single dime. So remember that. Now we go into over and this is what you're going to see once you once you've downloaded the the, the app. Um, I'm gonna go into profile because I've already created a bunch of graphics in the past. So um, I'm gonna go to add there and what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you a bunch of templates that you can choose from. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but some of these say pro. Um, obviously that is with the full version of the app, but you still have so much that you can work with without having to spend a dime, like I said. We're gonna go transparent and that brings us to this window. This window is going to give us a ton, a ton, a ton of templates that we can choose. Now, if you want to do iPhone, if you want to do um, an Instagram square, a portrait or a landscape a graphic, and you've just got a ton of stuff, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube. I mean, you name it, it's, it's got it. And what that does is it, it guarantees that you're designing in a template and in the sizing that's going to be correct for whenever you're ready to post it on Instagram or in Snapchat or wherever it is that you're going to be sharing this at. So. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna go into a portrait style for Instagram. Now, I I have found that portrait style and Instagram fits very well if I'm trying to post it both in Instagram and in Facebook. So I do that a lot. I, I tend to just design one and then add it into multiple or, or upload it into multiple social media sites. And this specific size works for both. So keep that in mind, that's a nice tip. So here it is, this is a transparent background. This is going to be your layer um, icon, images, text, graphics, shapes, or videos. Now, if I click layers, your layers are going to start to populate as you add more things. Right now, obviously, all we have is our background on, on our site, so there's nothing in there. Let's go ahead and bring in an image. Let's say we wanted to create something um, to invite people to a, a youth service, or let's say we wanted to create something to invite people to a service, a special something that we were having. Um, you're going to have three options. In photos, it'll upload um, your your current um, album that's, that's inside of your iPad, your iPhone, wherever it is that you're designing in. Um, Unsplash is an awesome little tool that, that comes integrated to the website because these are all royalty free pictures. You can use them for free. Nobody's going to send you a message about, hey, why are you using my picture? You can actually use it and nothing's going to happen. In fact, if you're designing inside of Photoshop, not inside of Over, you can go to unsplash.com and just download a ton of images that are up there that are awesome. And they are really good, high quality pictures. So I definitely recommend if you don't have a, per a picture of, of, say, like your church or a picture that you want to use that's high quality, stick to one of these because quality pictures is, gonna, is what's going to set you apart, guys. Quality pictures are everything. So let's go on here and let's search. Let's search youth. Um, I remember we're, we're creating a graphic to invite people to our youth service. So um, let's see. Let's see. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's find something that's going to be attractive. That's going to make people um, 
look at our design that's going to stand out a little bit. Uh, let's see. And again, you can search for pretty much anything. You can search for uh, musicians. You can search for, I mean, you name it, you can search it. So let's bring in, let's bring in this image. Here we go. I'm going to stretch it out, get it to fit the template size. The first thing you're going to see is you're going to see all these options down here. And that's to color correct or color change the image that you're bringing in. For the purposes of this, I'm going to make it black and white. And I'm going to hit select. And I'm going to add some text in the text layer. And I'm just going to type join us. And I'm going to hit check. Size it the way that you want to size it. You're going to notice a yellow line coming down the middle and that's going to let you know that you're right in the middle of that template. So you mess with that until you get it exactly where you want it. There we go. Now, again, just like our image did, it's going to give us a series of options that we can manipulate whatever it is that we just brought in. Now for this one, obviously because it's text, it's going to give you, give us a bunch of options for fonts. Now, if we scroll all the way down the bottom, I mean, look at all the, the font options that I just had. You can get more, but again, that's with the pro version of the app and that is going to cost you some money. So for the purposes of this, let's find a font that I tend to use quite regularly. Um, let's go with that. I like that. I'm going to stretch it out, make it a little bit bigger. Now, obviously, because my background image is black and white, I want to change the color of the font to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm going to select the text layer and I'm going to hit color. I'm going to hit my little wheel here. And I was messing with this yellow earlier and I really like it on black and white, black and white images. So I'm going to I'm going to stick to that. Now, you see how the image is kind of getting lost in the back. I'm going to tweak that a little bit here. There we go. I'm going to hit select. Now let's add uh, more text. Let's say uh, join us. Um, let's say um, living. I mean, I like the caps thing sometimes. Let's say living fire YM. I'm going to select that. And I want to make that a little bit smaller. And again, that's just a name that I just came up with. Um, one little trick they like to do, especially with with letters that are going to be right under the main messages that we're trying to get across with our image is if you go to style and you go to space, it lets you do this. It lets you change the distance between each letter. I like to stretch those out a little bit more. So I'm going to select again, find that middle until it looks good. I like that right there. So now our design is actually definitely taking shape. Um, and let's say we wanted, uh, let's say you weren't happy with the image. Let's, let's, let's bring another one. And this is where I'm going to hopefully try to show you how to manipulate your layers. Um, let's bring this one in. That one looks pretty cool. Um, don't be afraid to try a bunch of images because at the end of the day, you can swap them as much as you want. Again, we'll make it black and white. We'll hit our layers, hold and drop it down. Now with this, obviously the image is, is being overtaken by the shoes. So I would actually bring, I would actually bring this font down a little bit just to give the image um, some space there. Let's bring in another image. Let's type in um, youth concert. See if anything cups, pops up. I mean, a ton of stuff usually does, but um, Let's see. Maybe if I just type concert. There we go. Um, let's see. I want to grab that image. Bring the image in. Size it the way that we want to size it. Change the color of it. Go to my layers, bring it down. Now I'm going to definitely um, move my text layers because I don't want them to overtake the image. Select the join us layer 
and boom obviously to this image what i would do is i would actually add maybe up here or maybe in the side somewhere i would definitely add you know location time um the name of the youth ministry whatever it is you know actually change it to real you know youth ministry and so on so there's a ton of stuff that you can do inside of over guys like you can switch images if i wanted to get rid of this image and just stick to that one i mean there's just so much so many things that you can do i mean the possibilities are endless so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through some of the graphics that I've done in the past and take you th through my thought process. And that way you guys can sort of get ideas on what you what you guys can create. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into my library. So this is one that I did. You know, I just thought about like, what if I wanted to share a sermon series or what if I wanted to share sort of the topic for the week? And so I created this, you know, Dallas Youth Ministries, never lost, put in a picture. You guys can see all my layers and it's quick and easy. And, and it looks good. The image is high quality and I can share it in, in, in social media platforms. And, and it's just, it just makes it a lot better um, and a lot cleaner. Let's say we were trying to um, share a couple of our district events or a couple of our youth events. You know, look at this gradient in the background. See how I mess with the colors, different fonts. I've sort of cascaded everything. And again, there's so many things that you can do. You can change the image in the background and and as long as your fonts your text and everything is popping out that's really what you want to do let me take you through another one here here's another one join us again i did the same thing black and white background i love to use this yellow and i added just a little bit of message maybe add your address down there stuff like that just helps and it pops so much here's another one again join us you service this friday add your address at the bottom Put it on Snapchat, send it to all your youth group uh, people and, and they'll show up, man. They, they definitely will. Um, see if I can pull up another one. Um, let's say you're having a youth leaders meeting. Add an image, add some text, add a little graphic in there. If you don't like this graphic, I'll show you. Get rid of it. You can also go back. Say you change your mind and you want to change the color of it. And so on and so on. The capabilities are really just endless of the stuff that you can do inside of here. I'll show you another one. I sort of did a countdown for a um, for a conference that we were having, and 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 this is perfect because it's got so many text layers on there. It's got letters that are bigger, some that are smaller. And then it's got some graphic elements on there. It's got some graphic elements on there. So I'll show you sort of what I did here. I added an image to the background, and that's going to be in my layers all the way down there and then I added the name of the conference and then I just added a couple elements now what I want to do is I want to show you actually what we did here let me select it you see how this is the whole graphic but I've only chose to use like a little bit of it there just to give it a little little accent mark there at the at the corner to make it pop a little bit more um, let me show you something else that I've done in the past Let's say I wanted to promote some kind of um, Bible study. Um, there's the image back there. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit less color on that. Maybe that right there. And see, now I've got this layer down here that I can move back and forth and that will allow me to put any text down there that's just gonna pop. You can do so many things inside of Over, guys. And again, this is a completely free service, completely free app. You can export it and it's right there ready to go and ready for you to share so hopefully this tutorial was helpful again the name of the app is over there's a ton of things that you can do if you have any questions please let me know heck in fact if you see any of these graphics that you like and you'd like to make them your own shoot me a message and i'll get it to you i'll change it put your youth group name on there and i'll send them over to you if you see any of them that you like I will gift them to you. I have no problem with giving them to you. So, so that is the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you guys um, found this information useful and hopefully you guys learned something. If you have any questions or if you want any of the graphics that we worked on today, please, please let me know. I will give them to you. I will add the name of your youth group and I'm gonna send, I'll send them to you. I have no problem doing that. So if you have any questions, please write it down in the comments below or send me an email and I will be more than happy and more than glad to help you guys out. God bless you. Take care.